Okay, guys, I got some bad news. Um, I've been waiting quite a bit to make this video since I was seeing how things were working out. But um, if you notice, this is a 2023 Honda Pilot, but it's not my 2023 Honda Pilot. It's in the shop waiting for parts, and I'll tell you the story. Um, as you know, we have the 2023 Honda Pilot um, EXL. We've had it for a couple months. It had 5,500 miles on it, and everything had been running perfectly on it. We took our very first long road trip to um, Utah. Had just driven 200 miles straight, pulled into to get gas and to get some food. Went to accelerate onto the interstate and had no power and my dash started freaking out flashing the check engine light was on it wasn't flashing but it was flashing all these other things like um, tire sensor not working speed sensor not working backups just all these things saying they're not working not working so i got the next exit tried to figure some stuff out tried to reset the battery um, everything just kept flashing we just wanted to get home from the road trip so um, since the engine light was not flashing, it was just on, I kept driving and pretty much it was like in a limp mode where I feel like only like so three cylinders were working or, or something like that. I was able to get up to about 70 miles an hour on the flats, maybe a little bit more. Sometimes I wasn't flooring it all the way because I didn't want to blow it up. I wanted to actually get home and, um, on the hills, it'd only go about 35 to 40 without it. You know, I didn't have it to the floor because I didn't want it to blow up. The whole entire time, my dash is flashing and freaking out on me. So super annoying, but got home. And um, called the dealership I bought it from. They told me they couldn't look at it for two weeks. Told me they didn't have a loaner car. Pretty much told me to pounce in. So that really pissed me off. So the next nearest one was this Fowler um, Honda up in Longmont, Colorado. And they've been super awesome. They're like, drop it right off right away. We'll get you a loaner. And we'll start working on it. And they checked it out in like three days. But the loaner they gave me was this. It's uh, also the 2023 Honda Pilot, but it's black. And it's uh, same engine, same transmission. It's just the one trim level down. Let me grab the uh, sheet. Hold on a second. Uh, here's the car sheet on it. Um, it's just the uh, LX, is what it is. And its total price was like 39. I think ours was 45 or 40. I think it was 45. So six thousand dollar difference. And um, when we started driving it, it had been getting driven around a little bit. It had 1,500 miles on it, and it actually had this hell damage on it, which you can see. But um, super nice car. We've almost put. <laughs> we put quite a miles on it so I got this on June 4th that's when we were driving home so I actually got it on the 5th but let's see how many miles we have on it now I gotta grab the key hold on anyway we got it with um, 1500 miles I don't know if you guys can see that We now almost have 5,000 miles on it. So we've been in it for almost two months and been putting a lot of miles on it. Um, just to give you guys a little comparison, what I like or dislike between the EX and the EXL is ours is all leather inside. This one, of course, is not. It's this white cloth. And so I really like the leather. The steering wheel doesn't have any leather on it. So I don't know, a few things look just like a little bit more plain. Our screen doesn't have these buttons down here. It's got more of a bigger touch screen, which is nicer. And a little bit different on this one that it does have is it has the third row seat in the middle. I mean, it has the fold down center seat that you can take all the way out or leave there. So this can actually sit eight, I think. Um, and the other things, there's a few other small things. So for the six grand difference, um, it has the power tailgate. And um, I would say if you guys are looking at between the two for the six grand difference, 
I'd probably get the EXL. It's just, the leather is really nice, and um, just it just it feels like you're in a, like a lot nicer car. This is like the kind of the plain version. But in regards to how this vehicle feels together, they're the exact same engine, exact same transmission, and that feels exactly the same. Haven't had any issues on this. We've been taking it. We've taken on a few road trips and driven it pretty hard just to see how it will do. Um, one thing that I do hate about both of them is they don't have a temperature gauge. So essentially, this little blue light right here, when the engine's cold, it'll stay blue. After it heats up, it disappears. And that's like telling you that the engine's warm. And then I'm assuming, let's see if we can get it to test light. I'm assuming when it gets hot, it will change color or... Come back on. I don't know. See, it doesn't any of the warning lights doesn't say anything about it overheating, and there's not a gauge. I really like when I'm driving, especially when it's hot, to look like watch my gauge and make sure it's you know staying in the normal temperature. And so you have nothing on there. It drives me nuts. So that's super annoying. But um, yeah, we might have this car for a while, and the reason why is. So the Fowler Honda, they were super awesome. They checked my car within three days and they originally told me that it needed an all new um, head on one side and that the solenoid, one of the heads had totally completely failed and it was just a whole bunch of like metal shroud, uh, metal scrap in there. And then I was like, well, if there's a whole bunch of metal scrap in there, is it in my oil and in the whole entire engine? And they're like, you have the possibility you might need to know a whole new engine. So I'm like, oh, great. And they told me the problem, the other problem was that there's no parts availability for it because it's a brand new engine. And they really couldn't tell me how long it would take to get parts. But like I said, they were super awesome and they gave me this, gave me the, um, Pretty much the exact same car, just a little bit leveled down, and said, we'll let you know as soon as possible. Um, another thing about this is it does have kind of the more plain um, wheels. So they had the car for probably two or three weeks, and I called them. I, I wanted to go get some stuff out of my other car because we realized it wasn't going to be there for a while. It was going to be there for a little while. So I went back and talked to the um, service advisor, and he's like, we really don't know when the parts are going to come in, but our kind of our guess right now is at the end of July. Well, we're getting closer to the end of July, and um, it's they still haven't got the parts in. They did tell me when I called them back a few weeks ago that they investigated furthermore and um, found no signs of metal in the engine oil anywhere. And so I'm not gonna get a whole new engine. And they also said that the head appears to be fine, and that they're just gonna replace some parts, the solenoid and a few other things. Um, Cause it sounds like it was this, the, there's a cylinder deactivation on this when you're at certain areas, so it will deactivate some of the cylinders. That solenoid supposedly failed, is what I understand so far, but they're still waiting for parts for that. So I really don't know how long I'm going to have this car. Um, the only nice thing is is we're putting miles on somebody else's car or the dealership's car, but it just sucks not having your own car and having all your stuff in it and how way you want it and, and uh, making a payment every month for a car that's sitting outside in the weather at a dealership so i'll keep you updated with what happens but super disappointed the pretty much main reason i bought a honda was for the reliability and um, i already don't have a car after 5,500 miles and who knows when i'll get one and who knows if i'll have any other problems in the future uh, like i said we have put um like 3,000 miles on this one. 
and um, we actually took another trip to Utah on this one, and you know went through the Rocky Mountains and all that stuff, and and got on it pretty good and everything like that, and 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 it hasn't shown any signs of happening what happened to the other one, but it's obviously could be a problem. So um, I'll keep you guys updated. Sad story, but uh, I guess that's how it goes. Anyway, we'll talk to you later.